Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. This episode is sponsored by Follow Up Boss, one of the leading CRMs, client relationship managers for residential real estate, tons of top producing agents, and some of the fastest growing teams out there are using Follow Up Boss to increase lead conversion, eliminate busy work that you're not doing anyway, and frankly, deliver a higher class experience in real estate to everybody who chooses you as their realtor of choice. So if you're going to keep listening to this, which I know you will, there's more information and a personal review of Follow Up Boss. For more information, go to followupboss.com slash crazy. We're going to have to tell our listeners one of the craziest things you've experienced as somebody who's operated in the real estate space, whether it's something that just surprised you all to pieces or it was shocking. What was the one moment that you said, I cannot believe this is going on that my guests would like to hear about? Yeah, I, I have a few stories, but um, so we live in Asheville and my stepfather's got a property in Asheville and we used to, we used to help him manage it. And he calls me one day, he's like, hey, I need some, I need some help. Chris, like um, my my tenants having a hard time paying the rent, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? Well, I guess the husband, or I forget if it was uh, husband or just the boyfriend, was in jail. So he had he had run he had run somebody over. He would killed somebody, and like yeah, he so he had a he had this criminal record, right? And he ends up getting apprehended. Well, my stepfather didn't do a background check on on these people. Right. So I'm like, I'm like, I told myself, I'm like, are, like, how did you not pick this up? I'm like, did you do a background check? And he said, well, no, I didn't. I was like, Oh my God, nice. he's, he's kind of old school. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then, you know, here I got my wife going to this property, like helping out. And, you know, we have this now, you know, was he a violent criminal? You know, is it, but I'm like, this is not cool. Like, and I, I told my stuff, I was like, I'm sorry. Like we can't, like, if you're not doing background checks on these people, there's no way we can do that. And you might be listening and say, well, I don't do background checks. You need to, okay. you need to. And that's where I love, you know, when you have, when you, when we do multifamily, you know, we have in place property management teams, they're running background checks, credit checks on everybody. You know, if you run your own properties, run it like a business. You know, yes. like you said, Lee, have a property management company or, you know, a, a account for paying yourself a, a management fee. But, you know, look, people are people like stuff happens. Um, I went I went and read the story. The guy didn't mow this this lady down on purpose, you know, but it was manslaughter. And, you know, he ended up going to jail um, and, and that same property ended up uh, the um, the dishwasher was leaking and it flooded and created just a tremendous amount of mold damage. So you know, he ended up going six months without, without rent as all the repairs were done and the turnover happened. Um, and it just kind of illustrated why it's nice to have, you know, 300 paying residents yeah. instead of, you know, one paying. And it, it solidified the reason that I kind of got out of, you know, the residential space. But again, it's a, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful area to be in, but I was, I was flabbergasted when I found out um, who was, who was renting his property. Okay, so I told y'all that I would do a review of Follow Up Boss, you know, because I'm your friend in real estate, and I did. Now, you know, there's a blue million CRM out there. I mean, if you go to any Facebook group, every realtor's like, which one should I use? Which one should I use? And you know that these CRM, which are client relationship managers or customer relationship manager, whatever you want to call it, it's truly a system that's just designed to help you know what to do next because you're very busy and you're a multitasker in real estate with all those different tasks and balls up in the air. You need something to help you stay on track and that's what Follow Up Boss does. Now this thing, this cell phone, not a CRM y'all. When you save a name and a phone number in there, that is basically a Rolodex. Follow Up Boss is going to take the names and phone numbers and also help you know what to do next so you can maintain these relationships with your neighbors. That's what this is about. Real estate is not about serving just prospects and clients. It's about taking great care of your neighbor's needs in real estate. And if you'll use a tool like Follow Up Boss, where they remember you, oh, they might even call you when they're ready to buy or sell again, or when their mom and daddy do, or their best friend or their kid, and you want to be top of mind, that's what a product like Follow Up Boss will do for you. 
truly, it's going to change your business when you start paying better attention to people. They don't have to know you use Follow Up Boss, but they'll totally understand that they are being heard by you. So now there's a free trial for my people because you're loved. Go to followupboss.com slash crazy. No credit card is required. And frankly, because you're my people and we made an ask for you, Follow Up Boss said, yes, you get double the free trial. That's actually enough time to log in, put some pieces in it, and watch it change your business as it has for so many realtors and teams nationwide. Again, go to followupboss.com slash crazy to start your free trial today. Well, it's one of those moments when you you get the clarity of better ways to do things and you either adapt and change for the future or you keep making the same mistakes over and over. And just remember, y'all, the tenants, every single time, they know the law better than you do. So they would know if they can get evicted while incarcerated or not. I found that out by accident when I owned some properties in South Carolina. You cannot evict an incarcerated tenant. You just have to let it sit there until they get out of jail. How about that? Wow. This is information I probably should have had for I bought these townhouses And it was just a learning lesson, right? So now I do more research, but it's also why I'm not a property manager because that's not where my knowledge base is. And Carol Bradley is one of my property management gurus. She knows this stuff frontwards, backwards and sideways, and she's bilingual. So she can explain everything in two languages. So there's a a very specific reason you want somebody else to do all the background so that you can protect your investment. But remember, when you protect your investment too, you're also protecting the ability to provide housing for somebody else because that's what it boils down to when you own rental properties, you're a housing provider. And I think more investors need to realize there's a big honor in that because people have to have somewhere to go and it just as well be you that's providing it, keeping it clean and safe and well-kept. Absolutely. Yeah, we just bought a mobile home park this year in South Carolina. You bought an ATM. That's what you bought. You know, that's pretty sweet. But um, but the thing is, it is a wonderful area that provides affordable housing. And when you see the before and after pic- pictures of this property, it's it's kind of it's kind of jaw dropping. So anyway, it's uh, it, it it real estate is wonderful in the in the fact that you can you can own something that can provide tremendous income and wealth building for you and your family. You can provide something of of tremendous value homes, housing for other people. And, you know, it's, it's really a win-win if you operate ethically and look for all these opportunities. So I love the point you just made there, Lee. Okay. Now don't forget to go try follow-up boss so that your business can continue to expand in professionalism. And then you can meet some more crazy people yourself. I really appreciate follow-up boss sponsoring this episode, but mainly I appreciate them for giving y'all double the free trial time with no credit card required. So make sure you go to followupboss.com slash crazy, and then let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.